We all have the same goal, increasing our skills as a producer. There are so many obstacles that we have to overcome. We need to study and learn how to use a DAW, maybe a little bit of music theory, mixing, mastering, and the list goes on. This can be overwhelming and really time consuming. I, I completely understand. We need to slowly climb up and reach our stepping stones if we ever want to reach the top of the iceberg, aka becoming a great producer. And this is why these Apple Studio shortcuts will help you out. Hold down control and pause the playback. A file will remember where you left the play at and will start playing from there instead of going back to the start. Here you have a bunch of sounds that you're not using. Don't delete every sound by right clicking it. This is such a waste of time. Instead, select the sounds from the channel rack and hit Alt plus delete on your keyboard. When you're running out of ideas but you just want to juice up your melody, try hitting Shift plus M on your keyboard. This will select random notes and you can then transpose them by holding down Control and then hitting the arrows up or down. Or you can go to the randomizer by hitting Alt plus R. Now you can randomize the velocity for example. Sometimes you mess up and you just want to do a quick reset. Use Alt on your keyboard and click on a parameter. This will reset it back to the default value. It is so annoying that we have to name everything in the channel rack, then route them to the mixer track and there we have to name them again. Stop doing that, you're, you're completely wasting your time. Instead, select the sounds you want to route to the mixer, use Ctrl L on your keyboard and now all these sounds are sent to the mixer track. They also take the color and the name with them. But what if I want to send them to a bus or something? Easy, just select a random mixer and hold down Shift. Then use a scroll wheel on your mouse to change the location of the mixer track. F3 enables the tool picker. You don't have to move your mouse to the toolbar anymore, which can increase your workflow. So you want to make a huge change to your project, but you don't want to mess things up. Then use Ctrl plus N on your keyboard to save a new version of your project super fast. Let's say I want to make this chorus longer, but I don't want to select everything and move it to the right. That would be a waste of time anyway, so let me teach you a trick. Select how much space you need. To do that, right click and drag on the timeline on top. Now hit Ctrl, Alt, Insert on your keyboard. This will move everything to the right and you will have more space. Learning shortcuts is a stepping stone to achieve something so much greater. They help you become the best version of your producer self, but now it's time to move on to the next stepping stone, which is learning how to make realistic melodies. So go check that out now, because I gotta go. Goodbye.